proof. There is life after jail. There is life after prison. All hope is not lost, fam. All you have to do is change the path you walk down. I can guarantee you your life will improve. Trust me, I know. As you know already, man work up in this Northampton area doing electrical testing in the tenants' them's yards. So I get to meet people from all different walks of life. I met man who was a prisoner of war. Imagine being a prisoner of war in Korea back in the day, like, I don't know, the 50s or whatever. Old 90-year-old man was telling me he was a prisoner of war. I met people who worked in mental asylums. I met men who are teachers, women who are teachers. And I met normal family people who have got some crazy stories that they've told me. So I met people from all different walks of life and all different areas. And that it's not just people who are born and bred in Northampton. So I get the tenants' numbers. And I always phone them before I turn up to their yard to do the electrical test. Because some people might be out at work or whatever. They're busy for the day. So I phone up this guy. And I'm chatting to him on the phone. And I'm like, yeah, this guy sounds like Mandem. Like, he's probably black. But if not, he's probably mixed race. He's definitely a man of colour. So anyway, boom, I said to him, yeah, I'll meet you outside your yard at like five o'clock. Now, I was just a little bit down the road from his yard. And I'm sitting in my car waiting for him. I see a van pull up. He's got out of the van. He's looked at me. I looked at him. He nodded. He said, I nod my head. And I'm like, yeah, okay, that must be the guy. He knows who I am. And he could tell that man's a black man on the phone, isn't it? So anyway, boom, gone in the yard now, doing the electrical test. So he said to me, where are you from? I said, I'm from North London, but I moved up here, innit? I'm from North London. He said, yeah, boom, I'm from West. From there, obviously, me and him start patting and start exchanging stories and things. He's a little bit older than me, he's just like three years older than me. But he'd been up in Northampton for about, I think he said like 12 years or something like that. So I said to him, ah, since you've been up here, have you had to bash up anyone? He said, not really. One, two little nonsense and that, but nothing major. But then, obviously, I ain't going to say on camera. He, had to, he went on to tell me some mad stories and that. I ain't going to say on camera. But, um, yeah, he told me, yeah, he was, he was doing the rounds and that, in and out of jail, been to a bit of different jails and that. And this is a guy, I know he was authentic with his stories. Because trust me, I've met some tenants before. Like, there was one guy, I must have said to him, oh, I'm 20 minutes down the road. And I turned up after five minutes and he said, oh, I used to say that to people because that was a quick five minutes. You know, he said you was 20 minutes away. I used to say that to people when I used to sell weed. I think to myself, why are you telling man that you used to sell weed for? Like, fam, you don't even know me, blood. Like, come on, fam. You're trying to push it. You're trying to force it. You're trying to let me know that you're a bad boy and that. And you probably ain't because if you're a real bad boy, you don't need to be telling man you don't know your business and that. Unless it's really appropriate. You get me? Unless you're really talking to a man on a level, down to earth conversation. So, boom, my mom was telling you stories about you get me back in the ends and that, uh, and in and out of jail and that. So, I know this guy's authentic and I know he ain't no chief. So, um, he said, Yeah, the reason why I moved up to Northampton about 12 years ago is because he was getting into so much trouble down there. He's thinking, Nah, fam, I have to remove myself from this environment. I have to change location. And that's exactly. What man said in my video about how to get out of a gang. Cut ties with the man then. You are what you hang around with. Ain't too many kids who go to chess club after school and after college keeping up badness. So even if you decide to leave the gang, if you're still chilling with the man them on the block, let's say you're not trapping, let's say you're not gang banging. Them. Even if you're chilling with the man them on the block, what happens when the ops come? Before you blink, you're back on the front line riding out. It's long, you've got to cut ties with the man there. You are what you hang around with. Relocate if you can. If you're not on the block, if you're not on the ends, the chances of you getting mixed up in any madness, any badness is significantly reduced. You have to remove yourself from the situation, blood. You've got to change area. You've got to change environment, fam. Certain man, they ain't got the luxury of being from Romford and repping Wolverhampton and that. Certain man rep Wolverhampton and they live in Wolverhampton. So they're always on their strip. You get me? Man could be coming around any time and just move to them and that. So my man, he had to remove himself from the situation, remove himself from the environment and that. I cut ties with certain man as well back in the ends. Obviously, he kept one, two brethren close to him at that, which is, I understand. But he had to cut ties with, you get me, certain man that he was moving with. Because blood, he was getting on top, he was getting mad. Like I said in the video, you've got to remove yourself from the situation. And guess what? My man removed himself from the situation. 
He ain't been to jail for like, I don't know, like 10 years or something like that. Now, my man's working for a scaffolded firm. He's all telling me, yeah, fam, now nah, I can actually afford to give my youths money and that. I was thinking, ah, oh. you know, that's nice to hear, you know. I was thinking, when he, when he said that, I was thinking myself, my ninja. Like, I ain't going to say the N-word. You understand what I'm trying to say? I was thinking, yeah, yeah, my ninja. You understand what I'm trying to say? Bro? Man, I ain't even going to say it on the camera. But... I said, okay, that's nice to hear, you know. A man was in and out of trouble, in and out of jail, all this, get me riding out, all this thing, getting mash up, mashing man up and that. And he said to himself, you know what, I've got to remove myself from the situation, like I said in that video. Now my man's got a job, he's not getting in no trouble, and he's able to give his youths money, blood. See that? It starts with changing the environment, changing your mindset, walking down a different path. Blood, man can go to jail, in and out, in and out, in and out, and still make something of themselves. Now, this is not uh, me telling you, oh, yeah, well, don't worry, man. Just act the fool for the next 10 years because I go and change. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that, fam. What I'm saying, if you're in jail right now and you're coming out soon or whenever you're coming out, you can turn it around. This is not an incentive to say, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm 20 years old. I'm just going to fuck about for the next five years in and out of jail and, that, and your life will work itself out. No. I'm not saying that, blood. Well, I'm saying that you can change your life around. Happened for me. Obviously, man, I didn't go to jail for a long time. a couple months in that. But when I came out, I was still on nonsense. But I was fortunate enough to get an apprenticeship. And when I got an apprenticeship, I think to myself, blood, I can't be get me riding out with them, man, and getting in trouble and that. Blood, like, man's an electrician. Well, studying to train is become an electrician. One day I can buy a property, blood. I can't allow the streets to compromise my success. The success that's waiting for me. Everyone watching this right now, whether you're in jail or not, whether you're a criminal or not, whether you've been on the right side of the law or not, there's success waiting for all of us, fam. Yeah, we just have to go and find it. We have to be in a mind frame to find success, blood. We can all be successful. We just need to all get on the right path. And it starts with changing your mindset. If you're in a bad situation, you're in a bad location, but you've got to move, fam. Unfortunately... You're going to lose some of the people them that you was close to. But I'll tell you right now, fam, on the path to success, you're going to leave a lot of people behind, fam. You're going to be around people. You're going to think to yourself, is every time you phone me, does every conversation we have have to be about gal? Why can't we talk about business, blood? One day you're going to think to yourself, fam, what, what, what can I get from this situation here, fam? Every time I see or hear from a man, it's just gal. I want to talk about business. I want to talk about how to get places and that. Gyal are the, bri the byproduct of, of success, fam. So you're naturally just going to leave people behind. You're naturally going to have people who are going to hate on you and that. And you literally, think about it this way, yeah? Anyone that you know who's doing well for themselves, do they still live in the pulse code that they grew up in? Ask yourself that question. Anyone who's made something of so anyone that you know who's got a good career and that they went uni, they got IT degree or they're electrician or they're a doctor or lawyer, whatever. Stock bulk, a banker, whatever, innit? Anyone that you know that's doing all right for themselves, let alone doing well for themselves, do they still live in the postal that they grew up in? They grew up in. The answer's no. Anyone that you know right now who's lived in the same postcode for 50 years, I guarantee you they ain't made nothing of themselves, fam. Real talk, blood. A part of life is changing your location, changing your environment. There's people I know, they've lived in the whole post, the, 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 the same postcode their entire life, and they're still at square one, fam. Anyway, man, this one's for the jail, man, them. We got all the man, them using Feltham, Weatherby, ISIS, stay wise, don't know.